Gale 716 below 90 APO B. For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. And again, we'll get a little bit more clarity information out there in terms of the ranges and what people should be looking for. But as I said, I get a little bit nervous about covering topics like this when so many people don't even know how their body metabolizes carbs because they never had. Like John Tocho has been watching this for years and is just now getting his first OGTT. And John is way ahead. He's now gone from the 95, 98% into the 2% who's actually getting this information. The vast majority of us have been driving down the highway at 80 miles an hour without a speedometer and incurring huge risks that we never knew we had. MS, if a person has a diagnosis of coronary heart disease with above average LDL levels, should that person go on a statin if they've never taken it before? At least 90 percent of doctors would say absolutely i'm not one of them my question is do you have plaque now i've been saying that for a decade and if you don't have plaque i'd say no you don't need it what's interesting most doctors still don't know that the american heart association has flipped over to my side just over the past couple of years what they've said is oh by the way if you have a negative calcium score you don't need to be taking a statin i didn't say that when i said if you don't have plaque because here's the problem. You can have all soft plaque, no calcium, and still have plaque. The American Heart Association, because they don't look at CIMT, they have bunked it, have not recognized that you can have plaque with a negative calcium score. And we did exactly that. We looked at the study or the evidence. There's now studies that indicate that yes, you can have plaque with a zero calcium score. You know, talking about people that went off in other directions, a lot of people that watched me used to watch Igor or whatever his name is, the big calcium score guy. And, you know, I still haven't seen anybody in those areas covering the real issue that you can have plaque. And it's going to be the dangerous kind, the soft kind, and still have a zero calcium score. So the recommendation that came out from the American Heart Association in 2018 saying you don't have to take a statin if you have a zero calcium score, I would think again, I agree if you don't have plaque, but I wouldn't depend only on a calcium score. I'd look at something else, either a CIMT or a CT angiogram.